when you describe Barstool Sports, we're out there like frolicking the seas and we're all like, Arr, and it's that, that kind of thing. And I think that the Pirate Dog obviously seems like a natural at the time, but I don't think he thought when he was doodling in ninth grade in fucking Miss Anderson's class that like that would be the signal signifying of what Barstool would become. I don't even know if he threw Barstool was going to be a pirate ship ever. When was the first time that you drew the pirate dog? I was probably like 10 years old, 11 years old in Florida. It was in a coloring book that my grandfather, I call him Zadie, had in Florida. And I just saw it and I learned how to draw it. And when I was like a very little kid, I'm almost positive the first time I ever did it, I made a video making fun of Occupy Boston and they had a poster station and uh, they're like, draw something. And I didn't know what to draw. So the only thing I could draw is the pirate dog. And then he like held it along the street so people would beep at it and everyone's just like, what is it? And I'm like, it's the sign of the revolution. And then it just kind of became our symbol of the revolution. Everyone's got their doodle, be it the S, the, the house, the box, the cube, whatever it is. Dave's got the pirate dog, which is exceptionally unique. It's, it's beautiful. There's no two ways about it. It's a, it's a great doodle. How, uh, how did it become sort of iconic to bar school? Uh, I mean, D Dave can make anything iconic to whatever he wants to make. That's the magic of his marketing ability. So if Dave Portnoy's doodle is what he wants to make, like, a flag and make every college kid in the country wear, uh, he can do that. Tell me about how it became a Zero Blog 30 thing. Yeah, I think uh, I remember seeing an email, like, chaps, like, sending over it and be like, do you mind if I use this? And Dave was like, sure. I think he took that as, like, a badge of honor that, you know, our military podcast wanted that to, like, be the flag that they're going to take into, like, their war. I have no fucking clue. They just took it as their logo. Did Chaps ask Dave to use it? I don't think so. So it was me who sent the, um, I was like, oh, it should be like a military patch. And the pi I thought of the pirate dog. I sent it to the people upstairs. Boom, they created it for us and that was it. I don't think we asked anybody along the line. I mean, it fits, I guess, but I don't, I don't, I don't know why they took that. So in the military, a lot of times units will come up with their own patch that means something very specific to them. Maybe a recon unit, their logo will be Bigfoot because it's impossible to find Bigfoot. Certain units like the Kool-Aid man busting through a wall, but it looks very military. It looks very official. Or it'll be some super sexy lady with huge tits or something like that for whatever reason. But it's usually an inside joke within the unit and it kind of represents who that particular unit is. And so we thought, well, if ZBT was a military unit and each podcast within Barstool Sports was a military unit, what would their patches be? And we thought for us, you know, what represents Barstool? The pirate dog is something cartoonish and fun. A lot of these, pod, a lot of these like military patches are cartoonish and fun. And we thought, let's slap it on there with some official military looking stars and a couple words. And there you have a military patch. So, yeah. Where's the weirdest place you've ever seen Dave draw the pirate dog for a fan? I think he did once at the Blackout Tour, like a, like a happy Gilmore, like walking up and like signed a girl's boobs with it at one point. Oh yeah, um, boobs, everything. Yeah, uh, the Blackout Tour, I used to draw it on people's boobs. Uh, that was probably the most different place where I saw a pirate dog appear. I mean, I have like a $15,000 pirate dog gold, uh, like diamond chain now. That's pretty fucking weird. Do people still ask him to draw it now? Uh, people don't, they just, if they ask for Dave's autograph, that's what you're getting. So it's like, you're asking for one or the other. They're just like, hey, can you sign this? I don't know if they mean like, can you give me a Dave Portnoy signature or can you give me the pirate dog? I think they're one and the same. So uh, I think, yeah, anytime someone asks Dave Portnoy, please sign this. They're asking for the pirate dog. Depends how much time. If I have time, I'll, I'll sign my name, I'll draw the pirate dog, and then I'll say keep surfing. But it's all like how much time, because more and more people are asking, so it's like, that takes, it's quite a production to do the full three. Do you think that Dave still has his uh, pirate dog doodle fastball? That thing is sharp as ever. It's always on and ready to go. Um, do I think Dave still has it? Uh, it's never changed. It's 15 year old Dave Portnoy and 42 year old Portnoy draw the exact same thing. He drew it a thousand times. It would look exactly the same things. It's wow. pretty amazing. I don't know. I mean, Dave, he hasn't lost much, right? Can you draw it now? Oh, fuck yeah. 
you have, I mean, a, I can, you have a pen and a paper? Draw, draw it since it's 10 years old. We need it for the video. People need it. You need to watch me do it, or do you need the? Do you just need the finished product? I mean, this is good. This is a. I don't know what Michelangelo will use, but every time, yeah, it said that that's a fastball that will never go away. Yeah, I mean, I again, I've been drawing this since I was ten. Yeah, I think it's. I think it's the most underutilized thing at Barstool Sports. I think it's a great brand. I think it would be great on t-shirts, on hats, on like sweatshirts. I think it should be used everywhere. It's not, that's up to Dave, obviously it's his doodle. Um, but I think it is a very cool looking doodle. And I think it's one of our most underutilized logos because we, we've done you know, purple starfish. We got obviously this, the stool and stars, we got all that stuff. I think that's a great logo, great looking thing. And I think we should use it a little bit more.